Hi, my name is Joanna. Welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you new features of the user interface. First step is to upload the input file using the upload button, or simply by dragging the image file to this window. Wait for the image upload to finish. One of the new features is the background removal input filter. This image is optimal for it, because the white background is all around the main shape and also the orange contour defines a clear border between the background and the shape. Click add to apply this filter with the default threshold value. It can be modified later if required. To improve the clearness of the output reduce the input color count as much as possible, here there are three main colors, white, orange and blue. So let's try three. Another new feature is the anti-aliasing option. For input images with blurry edges this option sharpens the edges by trying to revert an anti-aliasing operation. But here in this case it results in unwanted wrong colors in some places. Depending on the input image, the anti-aliasing option may be useful or not. Here we disable it to see if the output quality improves. And yes, the unwanted pixels disappear. One main aspect of the vector output quality is the ordering of the color layers. Switching to isometric view shows the current ordering. Here it is not optimal. The orange color has the largest area and should be in the background, then white and finally the most relevant blue contour on the top. Let's see. Well. Here is a small white color patch which can be removed by increasing the minimum area parameter. Another new feature is the contour paths option. This features merges all layers, calculates the contour of all shapes and represents them as SVG path objects. It is intended to extract the relevant shapes from an image for further post-processing in a vector editing tool. If you want single output shapes that are not merged like the default combine layers option, then select single layers. Isometric view shows that each color layer is vectorized individually, with minimal overlap at the edges. Disabling and changing colors is the same with this new user interface as before. Next upload is a street sign. This shows the new feature that during the upload process, a new algorithm tries to find the best matching color palette. Here the sign has two colors and the color ordering is reasonable. Also improved the alpha channel handling of input images.
For many kinds of input images the generated vector output does not need fine-tuning of the vectorization parameters. We have already seen the input filters in action, there is also an output filter. The set dimension filter allows to set the output dimensions of the generated SVG file. This filter is intended if the generated vector file displays way too large or small in a vector editing or CNC program. Next we will address an issue some users have reported. For input images with many different alpha channel values, the output looks very binary as we see here. To solve this problem, the new Remove Alpha Channel channel filter allows to set the background color. Select a useful color, like here white. After applying this filter, The alpha channel has been removed and the different alpha channel values have been converted to gray levels which are easily vectorizable. Last upload for today shows the crop image feature which is available for quite a while, but have been improved in the last update. Use this feature if you want to vectorize only a rectangle part of the input image. This has the advantage, that only the colors in this rectangle are relevant for the color palette calculation and therefore it can improve the color quality of the vector output. That's all for today. Subscribe to get more tutorials like this. Thanks, bye.